Hello, my friends. How are you? If you are new here, I highly recommend you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell down to not miss a single one of our new lesson. And give to us some support by hitting like button. There is no doubt. Our lessons will help you to improve your English fluency. And good luck learning English. Lesson 8. Adverb Clauses Mr. Priestley, I explained something about adjective clauses in Lesson 7, now I want to look a little more closely at adverb clauses. An adverb of manner usually tells how an action was done, an adverb of time tells when it was done, an adverb of place tells where it was done, e.g. Jan did his work well. Manner I saw him yesterday. Time we met the boys there. Place. Now adverb clauses do exactly the same work, e.g. Jan did his work as work ought to be done. Manner. I saw him when I was walking to the football field. Time. We met the boys where we generally meet them. Place. But there are other kinds of adverb clauses besides clauses of manner, time, and place. They all tell us something about the verb in the other sentence. And what they tell us enables us to decide what kind of adverb clauses they are. Some clauses express why something was done. They are adverb clauses of reason, e.g. The thief ran away because he saw the policeman. Jan passed his examination because he worked hard. Because he hadn't worked hard, Hob didn't pass his examination. Some adverbial clauses tell us on what condition a thing will happen. These are adverb clauses of condition, e.g. Olaf will pass his examination if he works hard. If the rain stops, I shall go for a walk. We will help you, if you need help. I cannot drink coffee unless it is well made. There is one other kind of adverb clause that, I think, you ought to know, the kind that expresses the purpose for doing something. These are called adverb clauses of purpose, e.g. Olaf is working hard so that he will pass his examination. The thief hid behind the trees so that the policeman would not see him. Hob ate a big lunch before he went to London so that he wouldn't be hungry on the way. Adverb clauses Purpose Manner Time Place Reason Condition Noun clauses you will often see a clause that is the object, or, much more rarely, the subject of a verb. The subjects or objects of verbs are usually nouns. So these clauses, which are doing the work of nouns are noun clauses. Here, for example, are some sentences where the object is a noun. Object. I know, arithmetic. Hobbes said, a few words. George dreamed, a dream. Now, instead of using nouns for objects of these verbs, we'll use a clause. Object. I know, that two and two make four. Hob said, that he would tell us a story. George dreamed, that he was flying to the moon. These are noun clauses. Here are some sentences where the subject of the verb is a noun. Subject. Your work, seems very difficult. The prisoners escape is a complete mystery. Once again, instead of using a noun we'll use a clause. Subject. What you are doing, seems very difficult. How the prisoner escaped, is a complete mystery. There you have examples of noun clauses used as the subject of a sentence. Analysis. For an exercise to test your knowledge of clauses and to see the construction of complex sentences, you can analyze that is break up, a complex sentence like this. Complex sentence. When Mr. Priestley asked him a question, Olaf said that he knew the answer because it was in the lesson that he had just read. Analysis. Clause. Kind. When Mr. Priestley asked him a question. Adverb clause of time, qualifies asked. Olaf said. Principle. That he knew the answer. Noun clause, object of said. Because it was in the lesson. Adverb clause of reason, qu
qualifies new. That he had just read. Adjective clause, qualifies lesson. Finally, here is a complex sentence containing a principal clause and three or four subordinate ones. The boy, who was crying as if his heart would break, said, when I spoke to him, that he was hungry because he had had no food for two days. Now I will analyze it into its separate clauses. Now I will analyze it into its separate clauses. Clause. Kind. The boy said. Principal clause. Who was crying? Adjective clause, describes boy. As if his heart would break. Adverb clause, manner. When I spoke to him. Adverb clause, time. That he was hungry. Noun clause, object of said. Because he had had no food for two days. Adverb clause, reason. And that, I think, is all you need to know for the present about complex sentences. Exercises Exercise 1. Pick out the subordinate adverb clauses in the following sentences, and say or write what kind each one is, e.g. manner, condition, purpose, etc. 1. Unless you drive home carefully, you have an accident. 2. Andrew used the hammer, while Mr. Priestley held the side. 3. He went to the heart of Africa, so that he could shoot wild animals. 4. If the stamp is torn, it's no good for my collection. 5. Mr. Priestley wouldn't go to bed, until he had finished the last chapter of his new book. 6. Because the medicine tasted so unpleasant, Andrew usually forgot to drink it. 7. The policeman raised his hand so that the traffic would stop. 8. You will find it if you look carefully. 9. After it was dark, the battleship steamed into the bay. 10. The hammer lay where Andrew had dropped it. Exercise 2. Pick out the noun clauses in the following sentences. 1. Andrew said that he was taking Jock for a walk. 2. Hob hopes that Mr. Priestley won't ask him a question. 3. The pupil said that the questions were too difficult. 4. They are quite easy, replied the teacher. 5. What you said was quite true. Exercise 3. Complete the following adverb clauses with suitable conjunctions, and say what sort of adverb clause it is. 1. You have worked so hard, you may have a holiday. 2. You can't blame Mr. Priestley, Hob fails his exam. 3. I don't like coffee, it is really hot and strong. 4. You are ready to go, I'll go with you. 5. Mrs. Priestley baked a cake, the students would have something to eat at 11 o'clock. Exercise 4. Analyze the following sentences. 1. Mr. Priestley, who is writing a new book, said that he did not hear the bell when the postman rang. 2. The thief, who had hidden the money under a tree, went back again because he thought that he could now take it away with safety. 3. When Mr. Priestley asked what part of speech a word was, Pedro said, I can tell you the answer if you will give me a sentence in which the word is used. Dear friends, thank you for watching our channel and learning English with us. Subscribe. And we wish you great luck in achieving your goals.